Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Oh, it's Worshipful Wednesday. I got my hands waving in the air, telling the Lord, I thank you for blessing me and blessing us all to see another day. Today on this Worshipful Wednesday, I invite you to look with me at Luke's Gospel, the fourth chapter, verses 16 through 30. A very powerful pericope that speaks to us. It talks about the power of acceptance and rejection. In Luke 4, 16 through 30, we find that Jesus is in Nazareth. He's teaching in the synagogue where he was raised. He reads from the scroll of Isaiah, proclaiming his mission. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released and that the blind will see and the oppressed will be set free. This declaration of purpose brings excitement and pride to the township and to all the people therein, until Jesus challenges their expectations. He reminds them that prophets are often rejected in their own hometowns and cites examples from scriptures where God's favor extended beyond Israel. This atmosphere shifts quickly as the crowd goes from amazement to anger. They cannot accept that Jesus, whom they have known as Joseph's son, who would bring a message that included outsiders, Gentiles, and those that they deemed unworthy. The rejection escalates to the point where they prompt that they made an attempt to throw him off a cliff, illustrating the tension between divine purpose and human prejudice. In our contemporary world, this passage serves as a profound reminder of the barriers that we create. Often we struggle to accept God's work in ways that we don't understand or among people who don't accept. Jesus' message was radical, challenging societal norms and calling for inclusivity and grace. As we reflect this scripture, let us consider the areas where we might be holding on to biases or judgments. Are there groups of people or individuals that we Dismiss this week. I want to challenge you as I challenge myself that we are to open up our hearts to those whom God's love, recognizing that his grace knows no bounds. May we strive to embrace the fullness of the gospel, welcoming all the rejected and those who find themselves have been judged on a basis that is without understanding and without compassion. And doing so, we can align ourselves with the mission of Christ, spreading hope and acceptance to a world that desperately needs it. Today, my brothers and sisters, let's all remind ourselves that Christ included us. So let's include someone else. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go and you'll always be in the right place. We'll look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.